Hey guys, it's Hurdle here, back with another video, and today I'm doing FC24 career mode. Episode 136, Thank and let's get into this. We'll if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. Oh yeah, recording this, just finished after a rugby game, which was actually right, guys, good. And so I tried to do one quick as possible, uh, so they got on... Um... Right, we really want to beat Tottenham today. I know we do indeed, so we're going to go with our same formation as we always play. Well, 4 3, three attack, or 4 3, three holding, but... Uh, who we got Tommy Asu on the bench uh, from off the bench Do this, boys. Top them away. We go out and get the win against the boys. David Raya and go. Who would dare predict the outcome of this derby in North London? Two teams who don't particularly like each other. You never know what to expect. Stay tuned. We'll bring you all the action from North London as Spurs face Arsenal. You never know what to expect when it comes to a North London derby, and that's what we have to look forward to today here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Derek Ray. Stuart Robson is next to me, ready to provide expert analysis. Stuart, what should we look forward to? Well, I think we're going to get a good game. The atmosphere is always hostile whenever these two teams meet. Let's just hope the players can put that to one side and give us a great game today. They're two very good teams. Well, it's usually quite hard to predict the outcome of a game like this. On the one hand, you have the hosts with the watertight defence. On the other, the visitors who score goals for fun, Stuart. Well, Derek, something has to give here, doesn't oh, it? We want to win these games. Really good, but in different ways. Let's hope it's a really good game, though. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the game begins. Come on, boys. Harvey Elliott. He read the situation defensively and did his job. 
Right, pull him. Trossard. Preferring to go infield. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Come on, boys, get it back. Defended it well. Simple catch, really. Bentancourt. Dejan Kulusevski. Tanganga. And on to Kulusevski. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Bentancourt. Kulinchi Hartmann. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh my god. Maybe not quite it was a close up. one. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. A very effective challenge put in. Can he do it? There it is! The oh, boys, come on. What an atmosphere in here. Electric. Ben White. Gabriel. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. Declan Rice. He'll have a go here. Well, it ended up being easier for the goalkeeper in the end. Dejan Kulusevski. We're using the space really well, you've got to say. Elliot. Well, to win it back. Lots of space for Arsenal. Come on, Trossard. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. Excellent defending. Harvey Elliott. Going well, under pressure, that was a fine claim. Now Come they have boys. in a good area of the pitch. A very effective pass, can he make it count? And a big moment, a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. And they are going to be difficult to stop now. Thomas Partey. Arsenal have given it away. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. No nonsense clearance. Just the challenge that was required. And Kai Havertz. Opportunity for them to get oh. back into the game. Decided to take on the shot from Angle. Not on Boys, come on. Front, though. Well, you have to question the decision making there. Could he have cut it back? The angle was always against him. Elliot. Bentancourt with it. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't keep the shot down. Possession one. Options in the middle. Advantage, Spurs. Superbly read and executed. Kai Havertz. And an astute piece of defending. Well positioned to clear. Plenty of support here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, that's good defending. Well organised up the back. 
Well, as you can see, Spurs have completely controlled the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Now can they win back and carve out another chance for themselves? Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, the situation has changed in the Chelsea game. There's been a goal there. Alex Scott. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. It's now 1-0 with 38 minutes on the clock. Oh, they're in a great position here. Oh, Trossard and Oki. Come on. Who can he pick out? And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, another corner following on from the last one. Taken away from Son. Partey. And goes for goal! Couldn't put it away. And they're still trailing by a couple of goals. Well, you certainly can't fault their effort. But they just can't get back into this game, can they? Well, nearly at the halfway stage in this one, and Arsenal with a bit of heavy lifting to do if they're to get back into this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Boys. As say, Derek, they haven't played well. They've been slow in possession, they've been poor defensively, and they've lacked a cutting edge. They need to perform much better than this. Now, hold on, Stuart, they're in here. Oh, Trossard. The there, there, there. there. And give them hope that they can turn mm. this round. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper, who was completely exposed. Great play. So the ball is rolling again. Arsenal trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Side route looking promising. Oh. Well, Tottenham have possession again. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up to date news from Alex. Yeah, it was Newcastle United that were awarded the penalty. Even though the keeper went the right way, it's hit the woodwork and gone in. It's now 1 0 with 49 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Arsenal, 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 Arsenal. Tottenham Hotspur facing Manchester United. And making sure there was no danger in the end. All right, make a first change of the game. Martinelli coming on for Leonardo Trossard. Craig. Really getting stuck in. Right, just getting word that there's been a goal at Stamford Bridge. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a second goal for Chelsea. It was a nice pullback, a low-driven shot. They couldn't do anything about that one. They're ahead by two now with 57 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Arsenal have possession again. Come on, boys. Now we're into the final half hour. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Havertz. And he takes it on. Brilliantly blocked. Arsenal down by a goal, but maybe a chance with this set piece. Partey. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Arsenal facing Bournemouth. Son. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. 
It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. This could square the game. Oh, oh no! Heroism flashed in front of his eyes. Couldn't take the chance. Well, I think that's a poor miss. They try and go to five back so we don't concede. And then try, hopefully try and get a goal beforehand. Do this, boys. <laughs> Pardon me as well. Really should be level now. Will they come to regret that? De Vries. Now with Konate. Bentancourt. Sunset. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Into the final 20 minutes. Corner ball. Corner ball. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. Dejan Kulusevski. Oh, good play, this. Oh, offside. How marginal was that? But the flag is raised. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Not a very good challenge, and he skips past his man. Great opportunity. Oh. And fine goalkeeping. Now sending it in. No keeper will mind that sort of corner. Sunset. News coming through from the Chelsea game. A goal has gone in, I believe. Alex Scott will tell us all about Declan it. Declan Rice, Declan Rice, Declan Rice. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 77 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Oh, I've always want to get back in this game now. Bukayo Saka. The clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Looking sequence. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. That's a good. Can he put it in? And a fine piece of goalkeeping which keeps their hopes alive. Well, you're right, that keeps them in it. But can they find an equaliser? They need some urgency in their play. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Benton Cool. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Marcinelli. Havertz. And that puts them in position. A touch on the way through, so a corner here. <clears throat> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, you can't really head them any better than that, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. And a struggle to get it away properly. Benton Cool. And there the move ends for now. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. They have to show a commitment to attack Arsenal in these trying circumstances. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Nice weight on the pass. Oh, sorry, Adia. Eh, hey, waka, waka. 60 million down the drain. Kai Albert scores again. Sami Ania. Eh, eh, waka, waka, eh, eh, eh. 60 million down the drain. Kai Albert scores again. The striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Goal 
It's not enough to still three and points, but we made it. For full time. Even Steven here, they can't be... I'll be getting a point from that, though. Got time for a couple of questions? Right, boys. Bournemouth now. I mean, we've got some tired players out there, but we still got to, you know, try and give it our all to the final minute. There we go, that'll be our team for today. Let's actually go and get a win this time, instead of like, a draw. in the spotlight in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts will he add more today on EA TV always a terrific venue to watch a football match I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London my name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case it's Arsenal, and they face Bournemouth. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. So the starting 11 for Arsenal. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition.
And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And they kick off here. Tomiyasu. Partey. Ben White. And back to Raya. Declan Rice. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. William Saliba. Ben White. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Has eyes for goal. Crucial piece of defending. Come on, boys. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Crossing into the middle. Well, the danger is still there. No defensive resilience there. Arsenal will doubtless put everything into winning the game after only drawing in the last match against Spurs. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, Derek, the table doesn't lie, does it? So far, they've been the best team in the league. They play good football, have an excellent coach, and I'm expecting more of the same again today. Jefferson Lerma giving the ball to the opposition that time. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Takes aim. Stopped a certain goal. Aww. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, fantastic effort. Oh, so though. Oh, so though. More than equal to it. Could still be dangerous. Trossard. Oh. Well, it has to come soon. They're creating so many chances. Just listen Ooh. to the noise inside here. And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. Let's go. Perfectly executed. Saka. Here it is again, and it can be a risky penalty. But he hits it straight down the middle. The goalkeeper goes one way, the ball goes through the middle. Excellent finish. And back underway. 1 0 it is. Yusuf Fofana. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. That's a good pass. Scott Havertz, Scott Havertz. In a dangerous position. Oh, well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Well, he stopped it out of there without much fuss. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Control side. See about the cross. It comes to absolutely nothing. Arsenal's free kick here. A deft clearance. Interception to snuff out the danger. Now can they counter clinically? In the perfect position to read it. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Cuts it back. Oh, able to get a body in the way. Go, go, go. 
Martin Odegaard, Martin Odegaard. Well, he read the delivery superbly, but couldn't quite keep the header down. Jefferson Lerma. Havertz. Zabarni. And Lerma. They win the throw following that challenge. Declan Rice. Ooh. Rice with it. Oh, great attacking play. An alert piece of defending. And he's broken free. Oh, great. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Declan Rice. William Saliba. Cool, boys. White. Throw into Arsenal coming up. Ben White. And Arsenal unable to retain possession. Go on, party. And giving them too much space on cover. the Now he must favour the Closing course. down, closing and down. The threat is there. Just cutting off the supply. Might really be able to trouble them here. Nice weight on the pass. Oh, just Ooh. wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. <laughs> Baena. And the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on. Advantage with them. Went in strongly, decisively. Thomas Partey. Rice has eyes for goal. By Rice, on the Rice. Intercepting it intelligently. Rice, Rice. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Get the ball moving. Get the ball moving back to Partey. Havertz. So two minutes of stoppage. Let's get the ball moving on, on the corners. Bofana. Plenty of support here. That's a good pass. And what oh. a magical save it was. So the corner played into the box. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. So half time, that will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. Hasn't really got going on a sustained basis, Martin Odegaard. Work for him to do here. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. I'd like to see him demanding the ball more, working the defenders harder, and unless he does that, I can't see him affecting the score. Cool, boys, you've got to go out better in the second half. begun here in North London. Effective challenge. Tomiyasu. Now with Lerma. El Yuwahi. going to end up being productive for them. Martin Odegaard. Rice with it. Kai Havertz. Shot from long range. Partey. Here's Havertz. And oh, Rice! What a finish from Declan Rice.
Well, as you can see, it's a good finish. It just goes in off the post. It's perfect placement. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Watara. And calling upon all his defensive qualities. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Arsenal taking on Leeds United. Good strength to keep the ball. Well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Electing to shoot. Nicely saved. That's it, Martin. Eddie, get yourself on, yeah. Like the catalogue of great saves. And that's Centre the back. one. And they do like to press whenever they can. Fofana. El Yawai. Baena. And teammates to play it to. Trying to open up the defence. Saka. And now can they keep calm? Oh, Saka. Will they be stopped from this position? <laughs> well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then the strike from Saka. He never really looked like missing, did he? Brilliant finish. Well, that's a Gabby. Come on. Gabby Havertz. Davi Drau. Fofana. Oh, I think we make it 3-1 at half-time. Well, sorry, half-time, but you know what I mean, full-time. Come on, boys. Press. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Chance to cross. Daisy is going to come on the right. Lama. Going to get a try. Crucial piece of defending. Let's see about the delivery. The clearance wasn't decisive. Ball was going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Thomas Partey. And Havertz. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Might work out. And that is defending of the highest order. He's hit it with authority. Oh! Oh, really hit with venom and off the woodwork. Well, that's a great shot. He just hit it with such power. I'm not sure the keeper would have got that, you know. I thought I was going in. This is a message for Tyler Berry. That's Tyler Berry. Can you please make yourself known? Oh, the guard. Keep the ball. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Bournemouth facing Nottingham Forest. Credit to them for winning back possession. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. And played short. Shielding the ball superbly. Able to close down the shot. And over it comes. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Foiling his opponent completely. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Well, it petered out.
Havertz. He continues his run. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Come on, boys. Whip it in, yeah? Played over. Well, the timing was good, but the attempt too high. Well, not great from the keeper. Rice. He'll try his luck here. Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. Delivering it. And the danger's still on. Partey. And Ooh. just over the bar. Really good effort. And just five minutes remaining. Good work from Bournemouth to win it back. Thomas party could be dangerous he's always scoring well, just run and the flag went up we're well, not scoring but here it is now a substitution <laughs> that's a good ball party and making sure there was no danger in the end And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. And plenty of room in the wide area, but quick thinking defensively. Kai Havertz. Oh, big chance! And oh, Martinelli! Just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme oh, of things. 4-1. Osmond. Baena. And the referee decides enough is enough. It's the end of the game. Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one. Hi, sorry, can we just grab a moment of your time? Thanks for speaking to us. The yeah, attacker did really well to be fair. Scored a penalty and then he scores a goal flat on a counter attack. And yeah, so there you guys are. That is SC24 career mode. Episode 136 done. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Hit that subscri subscribe button if you haven't already. And turn on the bell notifications, you know, every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.